Hey there, Christopher L. here. I am a Christian Patriot fan. So where does that leave me? I have to admit, I was praising God, thinking what an opportunity Tim Tebow has given all Christians to celebrate and to speak about faith and explain what's happening, you know? It's funny because I've heard a lot of people say, you know, well, he lost the last three games of the season. He's not all that great. And all I can think is, well, God gave him just enough to get into the playoffs. I thought that was amazing. And last week, when they faced the Steelers, so many weird things happened in there. You know, the most notable is probably the fact that he threw for 316 yards while wearing John 316 on his body. Uh, I think it was on his eye slats. It's like, yeah, that's pretty pretty crazy. Quite a coincidence if you believe in coincidences. But this week he's going against the New England Patriots. And as we all know, the Patriots are going to cream them, just as they did in the regular season. Oh yes, there will be flashes of greatness from Tebow and the Broncos, but the Patriots just have too much talent, right? Well, <laughs> That's what the Patriots fan of me says. However, the Tebow fan of me says otherwise. Yes, Tim Tebow. <sighs> Here's the thing. As a Christian, I know that if God has put his hand on Tim Tebow to bring glory to his son's name, this is perhaps how he might do it. No one expects Tebow to win. Tebow's got enough accolades now that he'll be the starter next year. He's establishing himself as a unique, perhaps legendary, quarterback in the league. The things we're hearing about Tim Tebow are amazing, quite frankly. He's a church builder, a child of missionaries. In New England, I don't know about nationally, they're talking about how Tim Tebow every week has brought someone to the game. Someone who's suffering or dying, someone in need, brought them and their whole family, got them a nice hotel, dinner, <laughs> uh, <laughs> seats in the game, hung out with them afterwards. He's a real brother in Christ. And we shouldn't make him a hero or idolize him, but... I feel like I gotta support him too, you know, because let's face it, he's not a very good quarterback. And here he is. Two games away from the Super Bowl? Wouldn't it be amazing? What would Tim Tebow say if he was given the mic after winning the Super Bowl? Now I know that's way out there and it seems as impossible to me as it does to you, but what if it happens? And here's the thing, as a Christian, I know if the hand of God is with him, it will happen. People won't understand the hand of God being involved in a football game. They'll say, God has time to care about this, but he's not doing anything about that or that or that or that. But who knows the will of God and how it's working? Who knows who Tim Tebow may inspire? which in turn may bring them to Christ so that he can begin working in them just as he is in Tim. I think it's great so long as it brings glory to Jesus' name. So, I think the Patriots will win. But I'm not going to be upset if Tim Tebow walks away with another step closer to the Super Bowl. Well, until next time, happy Jesus Day. God bless and peace out.